Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross key skill video on solving inverse proportion problems using a scaling method. Now what do I mean by inverse proportion? What I mean is that as you scale one thing, the other thing is going to scale in the opposite way. So inverse to it. Now to give an example, let's take a race and you have a particular fixed distance, let's say you're running uh, five kilometres. Now if you were to double your speed, it would take less time, wouldn't it? But specifically, if you were to double your speed for the race, you would be dividing your time by two. So timesing your speed by two would divide your time by two. And that's an example of two things, speed and time, which are inversely proportional. And we can use that principle of opposite scaling here. So we've got eight bricklayers. Let's write out the information. Eight bricklayers. They take 15 days. I like to use a double-ended arrow. So eight bricklayers take 15 days. How long would three bricklayers take? Now, there's a variety of different methods to do this, but I'm just going to show you one. Let's just think, to get from eight bricklayers to three bricklayers, what would we have to scale by? What would we need to times by? Well, to see what you times by, you just do the second number divided by the first number. So we're timesing by three over eight. And if you think about it, when you time something by three over eight, because that's less than one, it's gonna make it smaller. And indeed, eight is getting smaller to get to three. Eight multiplied by three eighths is three. Three eighths of eight is three. And because these are inversely proportional, because if you doubled the amount of bricklayers, you would halve the amount of time, if the bricklayers were timesing by three eighths, we divide the time by three eighths. So the opposite. If we times this by a value, then we're going to divide this by a value. So then we just need to do 15 divided by three eighths, and that gives you 40 days. And that's the final answer. So if your things are inversely proportional, then whatever you times this by, you need to divide this by.